Hello and welcome back. So now we want to edit the privileges for the students tab. So we should be able to see the students tab here. Uh, if we go to our authentication page, let's go to our both. We see that the reception should have access because they're the ones that actually um, they're the ones that actually add students to the system at the reception. So it depends how you want to structure your system. So this means that if the reception has access, the lecturer has access as well. Now, if you don't want that to be the case, if you want lecturers and reception people to have different things, just make sure you remove reception from the lecturer's side here. That's all it takes. If you delete this, then the lecturer and the receptionist who have different uh, access places. Okay, but for now, in our case, whatever the reception uh, people can access, the lecturer can access as well. So this now means the reception person should be able to add a new student, right? And we limited that access actually in the, um, let's go to the sign up page. Yes. So here we did limit that to, let's see here. We limited that to the admin only. So maybe let's move that. We'll leave this as it is, but just the access maybe, let's change it to reception. We'll lower that. Okay. Same thing here. We'll change that to reception, like so. Cool. So now reception has access. It's only that the super admin is the only one allowed to create a super admin. Otherwise, everything else remains the same. Okay, cool. Now that the reception has access, it means they also have access to this student's page. Now, the advantage is there's nothing to edit or delete. So all we need to do is hide the page itself. So I will hide this. Um, let me log in as a student so that I can see this happen in real time. So let's use Bob and let's log out. Paste the Bob there put the password and let's go to the students uh, page now all we need to do is go to the students.php right here and put our if statements so I'll give some space I want to copy from the classes was it okay since we have no let me copy from the users. So I'll get this. I just wanted the if statement students right here. So who has the right to see that page? Reception. Okay, so which means lecturers and admins and super admins also have access. Now let's put the else statement for access denied. Cool. So at this point, if I refresh, I should get the access denied because I'm a student at this point. Okay, so now it may be a good idea to show the, the access level somewhere so that you know what access level you are in at the moment, but uh, maybe that's not needed. Let me hide the student's thing here from a student as well. So once I have that, I can go to my nav bar. And I already have plenty to copy from. So copy. And let's go to students. Paste. Change that to reception. Why do I have cup logs on? There we go. Let's move that put the end if and move everything over good 
yeah so students should be able to see classes and uh, tests yes yes that's cool uh -huh. so let's do the same thing with the home page so let's copy that access and here on students paste and if like that cool so let's now refresh access denied but i don't see it here i don't see that here either so in the same way settings and statistics should be restricted to the admin not super admin but just the admin so let's go here and see statistics and settings so we'll use a blanket if statement here actually the and if should come here let me copy that if statement now the thing is i forgot to change here from that to reception okay good mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and where are we now right here so here now we for statistics it's the admin both admin and super admin will be able to see that page so back here if i refresh there we go so these are the things remaining for a student just classes tests and their own profile yeah and classes now also on classes we're going to change for them to only see the classes they belong to or if it's a lecturer, only the classes they lecture. So uh, here, what do we do? What do we do? Classes. Okay, so let's fix that real quick. And then afterwards, we're going to fix the profiles for each student. That way, a, another student cannot see the information of another student. One student can see the information of another. Okay, so here, I'm going to deal with classes now. So let's go to classes. In the classes controller. So here we are reading everything from the classes table, regardless whether you belong to that class or not, that is irrelevant. So this is how it should be for a, an admin and a super admin. Those are the only two people that should be able to see uh, all classes, right, for that school. So here I will ask the question and say if, let's paste that in there. Actually, we don't need that. Just need to remove these guys like so. Boom. Remove the that like so and move this in and that. And do an else statement like this all right so here only when the access is admin actually not super admin when the access is admin what we would do is we'll select all the schools and put them there but if it's not admin we want to check only the classes that i belong to so here in the oath, I will check for, let me do this and say my rank is equal to, I'll do oath and get the particular rank that I want. I'll say get rank like this, like that. Okay, so now I get the rank that I have from the currently logged in user. So once I get that rank, it will tell me what I should get. So for example, if I'm a student, then I will get, uh, what do I get here? Uh -huh. Okay, so the others will have no data, right? Okay, so we should take care of that as well. So we'll say if my rank 
if my rank is equal to student like this or well, let's change it to lecturer like that so first of all uh, wait lecturer yeah I think we can do it this way that's fine and then we can just put an else statement okay like that so I'm going to get this data from there and let's paste that info here do the same on the else statement uh -huh. okay so what I want to do if I'm a lecturer I want to see in the lecturers table what I have okay so we already have a similar thing here that works in the profile page so if I go to profile if tab is equal to classes okay this is what we do right here we read and then we read the table rows themselves so we're just going to copy all of this here du -du -du -du. copy and let's go to classes and let me paste it right here like so so let's go through this code and remove what we don't need so my table is equal to class students right but if the row rank is equal to lecture then we change the table cool so how do we get the row the rank we get it from this so i'm going to cut that out and paste it here so if that is equal to lecture then that so goody we don't need this anymore and then here what do we do select all from my table where user id is user id so where do we get the user id from that user id is from the currently logged in user so here i will copy this paste it here and say get user id like that okay okay cool so here we are using the user id here to get whatever classes this user belongs to and then afterwards we'll just say student classes we'll loop through this and then um we'll get the class's name so the data will be in student classes okay however here we are looking for rows right okay so that's so good so what we can do is get student classes over here yeah but here it is data this is where the problem is so what I'll do is I need to match that so I'm going to say data remove this student classes here let's do this yeah remove that so data is equal to empty array but what is this here I don't need this at all so um, let me change this I'll select all uses of this move that and change that to just AAR like that so it's a different array altogether because this just gets me the results but the actual data that I want of the classes will be in here so data like that okay good and then data and then that data will be added here cool so all this down here is irrelevant so uh out like so cool so let's see if that actually works refresh and you see i have one class here which i belong to as a student if i click this is bob you find that on the students i am here so let's see if we log in as mr vibe and see if we get the same result where mr vibe is lecturing password let's go to classes 
and you see I only see the class that I'm lecturing in and that's it okay pretty good with my students here nice okay so this is great and I can see students as well since I'm a lecturer and I can go to their page here very nice all right, so let me try and log in as somebody who has no class. Let's go to this one. Okay, so that one belongs to a class. What about Mr. Guy? So everybody does belong to this class, no? There are three people here, so there must be somebody who does not. This one. Okay, cool. So let's log in as Jane and see what we will see. Log out. Jane password so if I now go to classes I see nothing but I shouldn't be able to see the add new class here as well so that should be limited and let's limit that who can add a class a lecturer so let's go to the classes Inc right here on the add new here the same way we added the oath access to the edit and delete we should do the same thing right here. I'll copy the end if. Yeah, so now only lecturer has access to the add new. So refresh, there we go. So now all I see is a class name created by date. No classes were found at this time. Very nice. I can't see other students either. So if I type students here, access denied, okay. Good. I can only see classes and tests and the dashboard. Very nice. So let me log out. Log in as the overall super admin. Yahoo.com. Password. And everything is in full view. I can switch schools. Let's try and switch to another one. And it's working. Switch to this one. It's working. Staff members, we can see them. Students, we can see them. Classes are seen. Okay, so yeah, this is how it is. Okay, pretty good. Now, what we need to do is limit access to students' information. So, for example, if this is Bob here, I want to see Guy. Uh, this girl's information. So, we'll copy the, the profile page of this girl. I'll log out and log in as Bob at yahoo.com. So this is just another student password. And if I now just type in the link to another uh, student's page, I can read what they, their details, sensitive information, which is not cool. So we have to limit this as well in the next video. And I'll see you then.